everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which helps Squarespace designers um, that are beginner coders or non-coders to add code and use code on their client sites to push past the limitations of the Squarespace editor. In this video, we are going to talk about how to edit the mobile version of your Squarespace site. And I'm actually going to generalize that further and talk about how you can add code so that it only affects a certain screen size. So whether you want to make that change only on the desktop version or only on tablet or only on mobile, this is how you can add code so that it only affects a certain screen size of your Squarespace website. So we're going to go to design custom CSS, and I've added three different media queries in here. These are sort of the generic ones. Um, so this first one, any code that you put in between these two brackets will only apply to mobile because it's applying to media screens that have a maximum width, so the biggest they can be is 640 pixels. And you can play with that number in there to apply it to whatever situation you would like. This tablet screen code says, okay, I want to apply the code to media screens that are no smaller than 640 pixels, but no bigger than 950. And then the desktop screen code, anything you put between these two lines will only apply to screens that are no smaller than 951 pixels. Now I do want to put a little caveat in here, and that is that this can get very addicting and you can really want to make your website perfect on all screen sizes. And I think this comes from the knowledge that you need to have a mobile friendly site for your SEO, for search engine purposes. But what Google has actually said about this is that if somebody is searching from a mobile device, so if they're on their phone and they're searching, Google won't show them sites that aren't mobile friendly. Now Squarespace automatically makes your site mobile friendly. It goes through, it makes the changes, it makes your site mobile friendly. However, it is a program and programs aren't perfect and don't have the design eye that people do. And so as it makes changes, it might not make changes that look the best for your particular design. And depending on how you've used blocks or other code you've added, you may want to adjust this for the mobile devices. And so it's okay to add mobile code, but try not to get too picky. If you are finding that you are having to write a media query like this for so many different screen sizes, you're getting into you know, two or three or four different adjustments for different screen sizes, chances are that you can write that code or do that same effect in a different way to make it look better on multiple devices. The other thing I would recommend is making sure you have Google Analytics connected to your Squarespace site and take a look at what device people are using to go to your site. So for example, on my site, obviously I want it to be mobile friendly, I want it to look good on multiple devices, but most of my traffic comes from people looking at a desktop. Not many people come to my site from a mobile device or from a tablet. And so I'm going to prioritize how the desktop looks on my site. And although I want it to look good on other devices, I'm not gonna to be too picky at the mobile device or making sure that it looks 100% perfect and write all this extra code because all that extra code could slow down my site and actually harm the desktop version of my site, which is where most people um, view. So again, I'm going to show you how to add media queries to affect the different areas or the different sizes of your site, but make sure that you're doing this strategically and keeping in mind what device people are actually viewing your site on. Okay, so let's take a look at this site for the mobile view. So I'm working in Squarespace 7.1, so my mobile um, preview is up here, but if you're in 7.0, you're gonna click on the little arrow and it will give you a couple different options. So I'm gonna click on mobile. I'm gonna scroll through and see what things I need to change that maybe Squarespace didn't do as good of a job making mobile friendly. So I'm gonna come down here and maybe I think, oh, this image is too big on mobile, I want to um, make this image smaller. So again, because this is for mobile, I'm going to put that code here and whatever code I put in this brackets means it will not change the size on desktop. It will only change the size on mobile. So I'm going to grab the block ID for 
this image and I've used the Squarespace Collection Block Identifier Chrome extension plugin, which brings up all the collection IDs and block IDs on the page. So I've copied that block ID. So I'm going to target just this image. And I've got open and ending curly brackets and I want the width to be maybe 80%. And then I want to center it, so I'm going to make the margin on the right and the margin on the left the same. I'm going to put it to auto and it will shift it back to the center. And then I can play with this. Maybe I want it even a little bit smaller. Again, this is personal preference, especially if this is an icon, you're going to want it quite a bit smaller than taking up the whole page, but I've now adjusted that image. If I flip back to desktop, it's still the same size. Watch, I can delete this code right out. It doesn't change anything on the desktop. It's only going to change it for the mobile view. And so on. So again, you can put whatever code you like between these brackets and it will only affect that screen size. Now let's say you have done your site and you have other people looking at your site and they say, well, on my screen, it's doing this, or on this particular screen size, this is happening. What you can do is look at your site from multiple screen sizes and find the pixel that you'll need to put here for your particular site. To do that, I recommend looking at the live version of your site. If your site is not live yet, what you can do is go to settings, site availability, make it password protected, then copy this code, and I'm going to open in an incognito window that doesn't know that I've signed in, type in my password, and now you can see sort of the live version of your site. Then what I'm going to do is right click and select inspect and I'm going to turn on this which allows me to drag the site over and see the width that the site is being viewed at. So this is the height that's just this section. Uh, I'm not going to play with that. I'm just looking at this particular number. And let's say I'm looking for the point where this image becomes stacked. So I'm just going to keep dragging this down. And it looks like it stacks at 634. I can keep playing with this number but 634 is when that number stacks. So maybe I'm going to change that number here in design custom CSS. I could change this to 634 and it should still work on the preview to change that width. So to sum up, if you want to apply a certain bit of code only to a particular screen size, then this is the media query that you are going to add. Either you want it, you know, every screen size below a certain amount, between two certain numbers, or over a certain amount. Those are the three different sections you're going to use. And then you're just going to put that code in between the brackets. Again, making sure to not be too picky so you don't have a million media queries on your site and paying attention to what screen size most of your traffic is coming in on. If you like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, or if you're watching this on my blog, you can sign up for the freebie in my footer, and you'll be notified every time a new tutorial is posted. Till then, that is how you edit the mobile, desktop, or tablet version of your Squarespace website.